Hello and welcome everyone. This is your tour guide, Ryan Phoenix, telling you to climb back on board the bus as we continue our tour of Vandal Hearts. Last time, we fought through the poisonous lore speech and found a unique item there, a strange fruit, as it were, within the poison. And we also managed to get one step closer to the castle ruins and hopefully to General Magnus. And now we are taking a little bit of a time out here for story time around the campfire. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of the campfire scenes in Breath of Fire 3. But anyway, let's see what they're talking about. Let's listen in. So apparently the fortress itself is Taroa's Ark. Uh, okay. So maybe it's not really an arc at all, but maybe it's the fortress itself? Hmm. That could be. Uh, Huxley has a point there. Uh, if there was some great upheaval, then I suppose that people would be more likely to seek shelter inside of a fortress rather than a ship there. That'd be kind of silly there. Unless you know it was a great flood or something. <laughs> but apparently that's not the case in this world. Oh, where did Kira go? That's odd. I don't see Clint around either. Yeah, yeah, Clint's missing too. Huh. Coincidence? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, you may have seen her first Diego, but that doesn't mean much. And Diego storms off to go find them. Meanwhile... We come to Kira and Clint. Having a private conversation. Oh, it was a good reason, baby. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's a warning. You fight too recklessly. That's true, that's true, Clint. There, she's quite the capable warrior, if you know what I mean. That's right, she's first class. Oh wow, well, that, that's kind of sad. Huh, I wonder if there's more to Kira than meets the eye. Well, that's all I have to say, I'm just gonna go now. Wait. Yeah, I think that's the least you could do there. A little appreciation never hurt anyone. Man, Clint doesn't say a word. Strong, silent type that he is. But now Diego arrives on the scene just a little too late. You guys have some kind of fight? Uh, I'm sure that's what you're hoping for, Diego. <laughs> Uh, get rid of the competition. Look for you everywhere. Self-righteous jerk. Yeah, maybe there's something else that you need to know about him, Kira. Oh, wow. Uh, that's rough, Clint. Wow. By the gods, indeed. So he took out Clint's fiance or lover or wife, whatever you want to call uh, call her, whatever she was. I'll just get back at Clint. Yeah, I can't blame Clint there. I'd probably blame myself in a similar situation. Poor guy. He just cares so much. Clint's a caring soul. Now with that scene over, over and out of the way, we could move on to the castle ruins, finally. Or we could go and do some side quests. Yeah, yeah, you know. Whenever you're given that option, you should always do the side quest. Now we could actually hold off and do this just a hair later, but there's, eh, there's really one of those times where you have to, have to seize the moment here. Now if you remember, there was somebody in the tavern that was looking for that. 
fruit that we found, that we stumbled across. And that would be this young man right here. This strapping young man. You found the weird banana. Yep. Oh, well, I'm glad I wasn't planning on eating it there. That would be a little disturbing. Okay, what does he have for us? He has the key of Earth. Da -da -da. Hooray. Alright, and if you remember anything from last time there, those keys are actually to unlock the Trials of Taroa. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Why not? We've got some time here. So we're gonna go into our items, and we'll get that out of the depot. Earth key here, and we'll give it to Ash. Now in order to unlock this, it has to be equipped in Ash's inventory. So, now that we've done that, we can go straight to the dojo. Let's do it. And all they have to do here to trigger the sequence is to try to leave the dojo while you have that key equipped. Hold on for a moment, is that the holy key you have? Why, yes it is. Are you interested? Well, I tell you what I'm interested in. More power for Ash. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take one more step towards transforming. Alright. Fare thee well. I will do my best. Alright. Victory, destruction of enemies, defeat, death of Ash, as usual. Let's go ahead and take a look around here. We got quite a bit of lava on the ground here, and all these twists and turns that we have to navigate to get to all these different archers. That's right, every single enemy on this map is an archer of some type, including the few that we haven't seen yet, like these grenadiers here and the Crimson Archers. Now well, we've seen the Crimson Knights before, but we haven't had to deal with any of them. Uh, so this will be the first time here. And the rest of the enemies we've seen before. But now, as you can tell, they are all level 10, which is Ash's current level. So that might make them a little bit more difficult, but nothing that we can't handle. So let's get a move on here. Alright, first we'll take Clint and have him lead the charge, as it were. Uh, I'm gonna try to split my forces semi-evenly here. Like we'll have Dolan move a little bit. And now we'll have you go this way to the left. Yeah, we'll do that. Instead, Amon um, will follow at your side here. Now, Huxley, you'll go ahead and move here towards the middle. Right. And Diego, you'll do the same. Uh, Eh, since you and Claire are such good buddies, you'll back him up. And let's move Kira here. Now you notice that Kira, she can go wherever she wants to, because, because she's cool like that. <laughs> so we can actually move her onto these lava tiles here, which I think that we're going to move her right here. A quick note there, like, this doesn't apply to the lava tiles, but I don't think it does. But I know that if you have your Hawk Knights land over water, then they get a little bit of a defense boost. So that's something to keep in mind. As we go ahead and use a little Mystic Shield on Sarah here, get her a little bit more experience. And with that experience, we get her another level. Alright. I believe that makes her level 12 now? Yep, level 12. Alright, very nice. Now, Grog, let's have you move forward here. And Elony, we'll have you follow in suit here. And if you remember last time, she got up to level t uh, level 12 as well. And with that, she learned the power of Envenom. Uh, poison magic, which I don't really use too much here, but I'll try to show it off here at some point. And that's the last of our turn, so let's go ahead and turn things over to our enemies. Uh, let's see what you've got here. Now uh, going after Clint, huh? Uh, not the wisest of choices there, since Clint's strong against your arrow attacks. But hey, you know, uh, you do what you can there. <laughs> uh, Clint blocks it like a boss. Very nice. Yeah, you're all going after Clint. Wow. What Clint ever do to you there? Leave the poor guy alone there. Didn't you hear the backstory from last time there? <laughs> uh, somebody's going after here there, but you know. Uh, Kira might be weak against the arrows, but that's not going to do too much there still. Clint's a tough girl. Or Kira's a tough girl. Strike that. Kira is a tough girl. She can take it. 
Brooklyn's a tough girl also there. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and start things off over on this side with Grog. Uh, let's go ahead and have you do a little slash from behind here. A little sad thing there that I didn't really think about before, but uh, we've lost Grog's Barbarian Scream there before he attacks. His grunt, as it were. But, oh uh, well. Uh, take what you get there. I'd rather go for more power, as it were. Okay, we'll have you move up and... Oh, well, I go back here. And last time, once you gained that level, she learned Healing Plus, which is a area of effect and ranged healing spell there, so that could be very useful. Alright, but for uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and stick with the Mystic Shield. She's out there a little bit there, so she can use the boost of defense just in case. And a little more experience never hurt anyone either. Okay, and Eleni, let's have you charge ahead here. Can't reach anyone yet, so we'll turn over. Or, end your turn. And Clint. Uh, no, I don't want Clint to move yet. Let's have Ash move first. And take this guy out. Swing, swing, and slash. Uh, getting a little fancy with your sword twirling there, aren't you? Alright, Clint. You ready for a little stabby time? I know I am. <laughs> Not a problem. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Huxley, you want to go ahead and take this guy out? Show him what your elderly bones can do here. One shot. Very nice. Okay, and Diego, you can move up also. Let's go ahead and continue the charge forward here. Dolan, you go as far as you can there. Oh, just barely not able to reach that guy. No, oh, I probably planned that all along there. That bastard. Amo, and you follow in suit, and I think that Kira is the last to go here. Uh, now I'm gonna try to keep her out of harm's way for the time being, so we'll put you right here. I'll keep you out of the way for now. Okay, and that's it, so turn over and fast forward. here, and Kira took a little bit of a beating there, but you know, I, did, I figured as much there. Uh, she only got hit twice though, so that's good enough. Uh, boy. Uh, kind of sucks that she didn't get that counterattack off, that's because of the height difference here, you can see. That's okay, we'll go ahead and just keep things rolling here. Uh, nice, yeah, you can. Oh, well, Grog can reach that guy, so let's do that. Grog, you run over here. And slash this guy up for me, will ya? Not a problem for Grog. Alright. Okay, and... Clint. Let's see here. No, I want to... Might just check something here with Healing Plus there, see? Okay, no, I wouldn't get the Lava Tiles there, so I can move Clint there. Oh well, uh, I could still do that one there. Here, let's go ahead and move Clint over here. If this is turned up, Kira, you can fly up here. And your turn. And Sarah, you'll stand in the middle here and we'll heal you all up. Heal you real good. <laughs> uh, Clint to full. Sarah to full. And Kira. And Kira to full. Alright. That's why I need it there. Okay, and Ash, you can go ahead and charge forward this way. Diego, you and Huxley will follow after Ash here. Uh, well, actually, I might have Huxley hold off and go that way with Dolan and Amo. And Dolan, take this guy out for me. One stab, two for good measure. And dead. Just the way I like it. Um, 
while you run up ahead here. And finish that. And Huxley. Uh, what level is he? 11. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use a little bit of Mystic Shield on Amo in there since he's up in the lead. Just in case. Uh, a little red face with the incantation. That's all good there. Amon gets his defense up either way. I'm gonna get a little bit of experience. Eh, only four, but. Oh well. Oh, hell, only still hasn't gone yet. Uh, do I wanna move you up there? Not really. I think I might just have you stay put for now. Yeah, that'll be the best option there. So let's go ahead and turn things over. Fast forward. Man, I tell you, Clint is an absolute tank taking all those shots there. Uh, I might have just barely survived there, but you know, there was nobody else in range to do any damage to him, so I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, Grog, let's have you run up here real quick. Take this guy out for, for Clint there. A little bit of payback. What? Seriously? Grog. Come on here. Really, man? Uh. Alright. Kira. You run up here. And finish this guy off. For Clint. Retribution. Alright. Uh, Ash, can you make it all the way over there? Yes, you can. Take this guy out for me. Spin and slice. Alright. And Clint, can you? Yeah, you can make it all the way over to that guy there, but first let's do a little bit of healing. Uh. Healing Plus isn't that it's a pretty good spell there. You can see that this only takes 3 MP. While Healing Plus only takes 4 MP, so it's only one more HP to get a possibility of 5 heals there. So, you know, might as well use it when you need it. And get Grog and hopefully Clint. Yeah, get Clint up to full too. Alright. And Sarah didn't need the healing, but oh well, might as well include her in the fun there. <laughs> Alright, now Clint, you go ahead and a little bit of payback yourself here. With some rapid stabs. Alright. Alright, and Ellie, now you can run up and join the party here. Now that all the fun is done there. My bad, sorry. Didn't mean to rob you of your enjoyment there. Alright, and Diego, you go ahead and join the fun on this side of the map. Okay. Huxley, can you move up? You can't move up far enough to take that guy out, so we'll just go ahead and have you... Yeah, we'll go ahead and have you go up the middle here. And use a little bit of Mystic Shield on yourself here. Get some more experience that way. You know, these trial battles are really nice for farming the experience. In particular for Huxley and for Sarah, because they have those Mystic Shield abilities. Uh, Dolan, take this guy out for me. Once, twice, let the blood fly. Okay, I'm on. Hmm. How much damage did you do last time? About 31 there, so I'm not going to have you attack there. Instead, I'll just have you move forward. Yeah, you move forward to here. Okay, anybody else? No? no I gotta remember to grab this chest here, which, if he hasn't by now, Jaren will go ahead and give you the. 411 on what's in there. So now let's go ahead and turn things over.